Are you one of those people that feels like you're always playing catch-up when it comes to football gossip? Does the transfer window make you feel a bit like Ed Woodward, completely out of your depth? Do you want to impress your mates by making them think that you know everything about the latest gossip and rumours? You might think you need an extensive network of contacts and friends in high places, but guess what? You don't. All you need is to follow Stretford Paddock's exclusive guide to sounding like you're in the know, and before you know it, you'll be Salford's answer to Fabrizio Romano. Step one, be ambiguous. Don't bog yourself down in detail. Details are not your friend. Details are the enemy. The more vague you are, the harder it is for people to pin you down when you're full of shit. Instead of saying things like, United are gonna sign Sancho in the next few days, say something like, United are still working hard to bring new players to the club and talks are at an advanced stage with new signings. That way, even if they bring somebody in like Lee Grant as a third choice keeper, you're still technically right. Step two, make sure you cover all the bases. Like a teenager on a date, you wanna be hitting as many bases as possible. Never say a club are definitely gonna sign someone. That way, it can only ever come back to haunt you. Choose your words carefully. Talk about how United are interested in someone. That way, if he signs, you look like a Stretford and Sven Garley, but if the deal falls through, you can say, well, they were only interested. Interested can mean a lot of things. Like Prince Andrew was interested in Epstein's Island. Number three, make sure you talk about as many players as possible. To quote hockey legend Wayne Gretzky, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Make sure you link United with every half-decent player in the world. Every football manager wonder kid, and just chuck in a few South American sounding names for good measure. If you're struggling to find names, just make them up. You can make a Brazilian player just by putting the word Inho on the end of any ice lolly. Before you know it, United are linked with Magnamino and people are too busy Googling his YouTube highlights to wonder who the fuck he even is. The really scary thing is, you make a player up, just watch how many people fucking agree with you. Number four, blow your own trumpet. Even a broken clock is right twice a day, so when you eventually do strike gold, and a prediction you make turns out to actually be true, make sure you make a lot of noise about it. Take all the credit like you negotiated the deal yourself. Next top tip, be cryptic. Pretending you're in the know is a lot like sex. You make a bunch of vague promises at the beginning, fail to live up to expectations, and just hope that you've got something right by the end of it. So, in many ways, being cryptic is kind of like in-the-know foreplay. It gets you excited for what's about to come, and it makes people think you're going to break some juicy news, even if you haven't got any. Tell your followers that you're so excited about what you've just been told. It makes it sound like you know something big is coming, but in reality, it can be applied to any situation at all. It could mean United have signed a new player. It could mean you've got a cheaper deal on your car insurance. Make sure that you always agree with actual in the know accounts. So when the likes of Fabrizio Romano or Simon Peach, who actually do have contacts and know what they're talking about, when they tweet about a bit of news, make sure that you jump on the back of it and agree with them. They're invariably right, and you're certain not to be left with egg on your face. A quote that kind of sounds like, I'm hearing that too, goes a long way to increasing your reputation as someone who isn't just making shit up as they go along. Dismiss the most ludicrous rumours you can find, then blow your own trumpet. If someone's full of shit, make sure you call them out on it. Make a big song and dance about just how full of shit they are. Then hopefully nobody will notice that you're full of shit too. If someone's saying Real Madrid are in for Jesse Lingard, make sure you tell everyone what a load of nonsense that really is so it'll enhance your own credibility. Jesse doesn't even speak Spanish. He thinks grassy ass is something you do when you slide on the pitch after a goal celebration. Make out like you know personal things about the players. Say things like, oh, I'm hearing that they'd really like to move to England, or, oh, their family would really welcome the chance of living in Liverpool. 
That way it sounds like you know them on a personal level and it sounds like you're the mates. Nobody's going to stop and question why Kylian Mbappe would want to live in Liverpool where it's sunny for three days of the year and yet the women are orange all year long. If anyone figures out that you're full of shit, make sure you blame the club or the agent for the deal falling through. If anyone starts to cotton on to what you're doing, blame the agents for the deal falling through on some random technicality. Just be like, oh yeah, he was all set to come to Old Trafford, but his agent and the club couldn't agree on whether or not he could use the disabled parking spaces at Carrington. So there you have it. Follow these tips and before you know it, you'll have a massive social media following of people hanging on your every word. And your mates might just think that you're a transfer guru with his finger on the pulse instead of some virgin that plays Fortnite in his mum's loft conversion.